went down to the river I built on my knee I bathed in the muddy water Set my soul free And my blue All my blue Were washed away And my blue nice fish. It's like third cat All my blue Were washed away What's up YouTube, it's JL Folks from Road Angler TV. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something pretty awesome. I'm here at the Vibe Kayaks Warehouse in Laverne, Tennessee, and I'm gonna be picking up my new Cubera 120. If you ever heard of this boat, it's the brand new kayak that Vibe just released. It's basically a uh, souped up Maverick. So it's like the Maverick, but a bunch of new features on it. Really awesome boat, some new colors. And I'm very honored that Vibe chose me to be one of the first ones to own this boat. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. Just going to be checking out the all the cool new features of this boat. So uh, yeah, let's go check this thing out. All right, guys, here it is. The Kibera 120 in Galaxy. And I've got the, the Summit seat with the base. We're going to unbox all of them now and check them out for the first time. I've never seen one of these in person, so really looking forward to doing that. And yeah, let's check it out. All right, first thing we're gonna do is unbox the uh, the board here. Check it out. So I'm using my NRS Copilot knife to do this. Alright, here's the Cubera 120 in Galaxy. Pretty awesome boat. Definitely looks awesome at first uh, glance here. Got the integrated handle right here, so it makes it easier to carry. Like that. Similar to a lot of uh, paddle, stand up paddle boards. Got the gear tracks here on the side. The gear track in the front, like the Maverick. Got some storage right here. All the vibe work right here. All right, starting at the front of the boat. Here we have the standard vibe handle. Got some uh, bungee straps here so you can tie down some stuff. Got a gear track. Got three gear tracks, two on the side, one in the front. Got a storage hatch. Some of the vibe stuff here. A pretty good little storage hatch. You've got two handles on the side and one handle in the middle that goes into the boat which is pretty cool makes it easier for carrying the boat you have these gear tracks on the back here for the summit seat which is the same seat as the shearwater so that's going to be a really cool feature on the back here you got plenty of bungees to tie down stuff gear tracks and then you've got a uh, a handle on the back and an area where you can mount a power pole, which is pretty cool. You could probably mount a trolling motor or some kind of motor on that as well. So now we're gonna take a look at under the boat. So here's a look at the bottom of the boat underneath. Sure looks cool in the Galaxy, but a little bit of a different design than the Maverick. All right, now we're gonna 
unbox the seat and get it installed on the Cubera. All right, here we have the Summit seat installed. Got the tray here. I've got it in the high position right now, but pretty easy install. Just put it right into the gear tracks and twist that knob right there. Really comfortable seat, I like it a lot. And now we're gonna car top this thing. See how heavy this boat is and how easy it is to car top on my van, so stay tuned. Alright YouTube, out here on Percy Priest Lake, got the Cubera 120 all rigged up. Super awesome boat, gonna be doing a on the water test today. Uh, gonna check out the stability and just about everything on this boat. Uh, haven't been on the water with it yet, so really looking forward to that. And yeah, it's, it's looking awesome rigged up. I can't wait to get out and catch some fish. The uh, fishing hasn't been too great here lately, but hopefully we can stick a couple today. So stay tuned y'all. Yo, we are out here. So, maiden voyage on the Cubera 120. All right. Here we are. Well, First uh, initial impression is this boat is really stable. <laughs> Doesn't really, uh, I mean, it's real flat, you know? It says stability test. I mean, this thing is super stable. This is by far probably the most stable vibe I've ever been on. I just love this flat deck padding. This is awesome. But it's, you know, it's also super flat out here right now, but. I mean, stability test, this thing is very stable. You know, you can't really like walk up and down the boat, but I mean, it's super stable. Let's definitely give it that. And sitting down, very stable as well. This thing turns on a dime too, which is real nice. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm already loving this boat. We're gonna get to fishing, y'all. See, I've got a shaky head tied on, the Senko. Got a jig tied on, a jerk bait as well. I really have no idea what these fish are biting. So, shall be interesting. Gonna be doing some fishing, sitting down and standing up. Which is pretty cool about this kayak, is you can do both really well but uh, we're gonna get on them hopefully I don't think I gotta say about this seat right now I've just got it in the standard position and the seat is super comfy a lot a lot more comfortable than the hero seat which the hero seat isn't bad it's actually a pretty good seat too but this thing seems to have like a, a little bit more padding I guess this is the high position right now, and it's got four positions, but I really like this position for this boat. But anyways, we're gonna get to fishing. All right, throwing the jerk bait. You know, I don't know a whole lot about jerk bait fishing, but I've got a pretty good looking one on right now. It's a Rapala. I'm not sure what kind it is, but I've had it forever, and I think still looks good. So I'm just kind of throwing it where I see these bait fish are. And I tell you, being able to stand up right now definitely helps with the with the jerking. But 
I've only caught a few fish on the jerk bait, so I'm not too sure how well it's going to work out here today for me. So I don't have a whole lot of experience throwing it. But we shall see. You never know. When it comes to Percy Priest, you really never know. I've had really awesome days out here and I've had really bad days so today it's pretty calm overcast might be pretty good but hopefully the jig bites on today Alright guys, got them on the jerk bait. Haha, -ha. this is probably my second jerk bait fish ever. So, came up and swiped at it last second. A little guy, but first fish on the Cubera. And uh, good to know the jerk bait's working, so good stuff. We'll let them go. Awesome. All right guys, so for a while there, I just tied on a bunch of different lures and wasn't getting anything. So I tied on the baby bull shad and as soon as I tied it on, I started getting bites. Lost a pretty big smallmouth right at the boat. And then I hooked on two other fish, hooked on a pretty decent large mouth that jumped and spit it. And then another one nailed it and then just got off. But uh, I could definitely tell the bass are keyed in on shad. So the baby bull shad seems to be working, so I'm gonna keep throwing it. I know it's working mostly around bigger rocks. So, I guess I'm gonna start making my way back because we've got about an hour and a half left of sunlight. And I'm just gonna throw this thing around rocks and see if we can get a decent fish. So stay tuned, y'all.
Let's go. All right, guys, just getting off the water. I had an awesome day of fishing today. Not a whole lot of action, but even the fish I caught, they fought hard. Got one on a jerk bait, which I haven't caught many fish on a jerk bait before, so that was pretty cool. Then caught uh, another one on the baby bull shad, lost a couple others, but uh, definitely figured out that the bass were keyed in on the shad. They're definitely moving up the coves, up shallow and everything, chasing them, so that was kind of cool. But what can I say about this kayak? This thing is awesome. It's by far my favorite Vibe kayak, and I've owned like five or six of them. But uh, yeah, awesome boat, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's an awesome boat. I wanna thank Vibe Kayaks for sending me one and being able to uh, be one of the first guys to get out there on the water and try it out. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.